fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. From the tail of our claws. Oh, Silver! Everyone in Pottsville liked Squire Tubbs, the banker. They not only liked the overweight, genial man who laughed so easily, they trusted him. But Tubbs was worried. Apprehension showed in every line of his face as he hurried on foot through the moonlight. He glanced over his shoulder several times to make sure no one had seen him as he made his way toward a small shack outside of town. Martha was sound asleep. She doesn't waken easily. She couldn't have heard me leave the house. And no one else was there to hear me. I hope I can fix things up somehow. The shack Squire Tubbs approached was dark. He wondered if the men he was to meet had changed their plans. They wouldn't change them, though. They were too determined. All right, Tubbs. Hold it. Hey. Oh, there you are. Just waiting here to make sure you came alone. Are you, you're hooded. That's right. All the rest will be hooded the same as me. So there's no use to your trying to find out who you're talking to. I see. I'll go ahead a minute to the shack. Is, uh, is anyone there? Everyone's there. Oh, I didn't see a light. I thought... The windows I... are covered so a light won't show. We don't do things by halves. Get going. Uh... Good thing you came here alone. If you hadn't, the whole deal had been called off. You wouldn't have a chance to keep your peace of mind. There's no use talking to you. I'll talk when I see the head man. Wait there. Tubbs is here. Open the door. Uh, come in, Tubbs. Oh, so you've got your head covered, too. Uh, if you look at the six men sitting around the table there, you'll see they're all hooded. Chair at the ends for you. Sit down. Yes, all right. Guard, stay outside and keep your eyes open. All right. Tubbs, it's no use trying to make out who we are, because we took special pains to keep our faces a secret. If you think you recognize any of our voices, don't jump at conclusions. Yes, well, you want to know some details, I suppose. Well, we'll give them to you. You said you had information about my son. That's right. And we told you what you'd have to do to get that information. Did you bring the cash? I, I have it here. Put it on the table near the oil lamp so we can see it. Yes, here's the money. But first, you've got to prove that you really do have information about my boy. I'll tell you what we know about him. He joined the army and went to the war. Yes, yes, that's right. You didn't have word from him for a long time. Then you had word that he was dead. That's all you know about him. But tell me, is that the truth? We never were sure. 
His mother's lived in hope for years. <laughs> Mighty eager to know the truth, eh? I'm ready to pay for it. Why all this nonsense about covering your faces? Why did you insist that I keep this meeting a secret? Not so fast, Dubs. We well, can tell you all about Jim. But maybe you wouldn't like to hear the truth. I would. I must hear the truth. Your son turned out to be a yellow dog. He was a traitor. No, no, yeah. Listen to me. He was a traitor. And he was shot by a firing squad. It... I... I can't believe it. I reckon his mother wouldn't like to hear that, would she? It, it would kill her. And what about his wife and son? How'd that pretty girl he married feel to know that her husband turned out that way? And what did that young boy think of his father? I don't believe you. Jim wasn't that kind. He'd die before he turned coward. You're lying Stop to me. It. Right here in this envelope is the proof of all I said. There's sworn statements from men in his regiment here. You? How did you get those sworn statements? I made it my business to get them. They mean a lot of cash to me. Cash you're going to pay. If, if I give you this money for them, will, will you go away and say no more? That cash in the table there? That cash is ours already, Tubbs. You're paying that for what I already told you. If you want this envelope of evidence, it'll take a lot more cash. More? You own a bank. You're a rich man. But I'm not a rich you man. You can get your hands on all the cash we need. I won't touch other people's money. Well, that's too bad. I'll just have to send this information to your folks. You fiend, you rotten... Sit stupid. down. Put him in this chair. Get back there and stay put. In, in all my life, I've never heard of a measly... Save your breath, Tubbs. I will talk a little common sense. Right now, Jim's wife and son and mother think he died on the field of battle. Died a hero's death. Be worth all you've got to keep them from knowing the truth, wouldn't it? You want me to steal from my own bank? Well, what's the odds? It's your son's reputation or your own. Fact is, you won't even need to hurt your reputation. We'll give you a hand and help you make it look like outsiders did the stealing. I never hurt a man in all my life. But if I could do it, I'd kill you as I would a tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much do you want? Uh, now you're getting practical. There's $1,000 in cash well, right here. I'll take that to start with. This envelope, as I figured, is worth 10000 No, it isn't. Hey, what's the matter with you? Get man? back! No! Get him! Grab that man! Shoot him! Stop him! When the sudden shot smashed the light, wild disorder filled the room. Hard blows fell on unprotected chins. Chairs fell to the floor. And men cried wildly for the capture of the one who so suddenly leaped into action. Then, a splintering crash of glass. There he goes, the window. Stop him, shoot him. He's got a horse out in back. Drill him. Get him. Get that door open. See where the guard's at. Get a light in here. He grabbed the cash and the envelope out of my hand. Hey, here's the guard. He's tied and gagged. I'm getting the light. I'll kill him with this. Let me get my hands on him. Uh, cut the gag and ropes on that guard. Right, here's the light. Put it here in the table. Yeah. Uh, who was sitting next to that hombre? Uh, that was Steve. I never noticed anything about him. Wasn't it Lefty? Well, I thought it was, but... Steve. Look, here on the table. Wait a minute. You, guard, what happened? Speak fast. It was the redskin. He grabbed me before I could yell a warning and gagged and roped me. That's all I know. It was the redskin. He got me just after I let Tubbs into the shack. Ah, Steve, Steve, look here. Well, what? This, this was on the table near the lamp. It's a cartridge. Silver. Solid silver. A silver bullet. You shut up, Tubbs. You're still going to pay. Only now you'll pay twice as much. I'll get that proof all over again. You'll pay us 20000 instead of ten. And if you know who we are, it won't help you one bit. Well, I know who you are. You are Steve Smith. Yeah? Well, remember your wife, your daughter-in-law, and your grandson... You shoot off your mouth and they'll know the truth. Now, what's that about a silver bullet? Steve, don't you know what it means? One of the men that was sitting here with us was the Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger? Yes, yeah, sitting right where Lefty was supposed to be. Then where's Lefty? Well, I don't know. Well, find him and find the Lone Ranger and find that Indian. They'll pay for this trick. And Tubbs, you'll pay too. You'll pay plenty. <laughs> Lone Ranger reined up in a small camp in the woods where a man lay tied and gagged on the ground. Oh, there's Silver. Oh, I hope. Well, Lefty, I'll take that gag out of your mouth now and we'll talk. You know what's good for you? You'll answer my questions as fast as I ask them. There you are. You'll pay for this. I've heard that before. 
Don't look for help. That horse you hear is Tonto's. I went to that meeting in your place, Lefty. You know what was planned? What if I do? And you're even lower than I thought. I saw you here trying on the hood and found the paper in your pocket telling where the meeting was. I didn't suspect what kind of a scheme was involved. What are you going to do about it? Everything all right, Tonto? Uh, all, all right. How about the guard? <clears throat> him not hurt much. How uh, fellow on the ground? Keep an eye on him while I glance at these papers. The men at the meeting said these would prove that Jim Tubbs was a coward who was shot by a firing squad. Uh, me hear that. To poke up the fire a little to read them. Uh, me fix it. Not too much light, Tonto. We don't want this camp to be found with the men who will be looking for us. Uh. Lefty, how did your gang know about Jim Tubbs? Find out for yourself. Are these affidavits true? Well, you can read them, can't you? I don't believe they are. Who's the boss of your gang? Now, look here. If I talk to you, I'll be sure to get killed. I know what'll happen if I squeal. I know you won't kill me because I know who you are. You know who I am? Yes, I do. I knew it the minute you called that horse Silver. You're the Lone Ranger. And you won't kill me no matter what I say or don't say. So I'm saying nothing. Now, what are you going to do about it? Finish your game for keeps by burning these affidavits right in this fire. I savvy. Now I think your gang will have a hard time proving that Jim Tubbs died as you claim. <laughs> Cut those ropes and you can find your way back to town on foot. It'll delay you long enough for Tonto and me to get away. There. Run up again, Tonto. Uh, uh. We go now? Yes. We'll leave the fire in case Lefty wants to spend the night here. Steady, Silver. <coughs> All right, Tonto. Get him up, scout. Oh, no. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode a short distance from the camp before they slowed their horses to a walk so they could talk more easily. Tonto, I don't think Jim Tubbs is what those men claimed. Ah, uh, those fellas plenty crooked. He had died as they claim. His father would certainly have heard about it before this. Uh. I think it's just a scheme to get Tubbs to let them rob his bank. I don't know what we can do about it right now. But you burn papers. They can get more papers. If those were really affidavits. The gang will have nothing left to hold out to the banker. They can show him other affidavits. Yeah, we'll know they forged them. Then we'll see if we can't find out the truth about Jim Tubbs. Oh, that'd be good. A lot of people are concerned, Kimosabe. The mother and the wife and the son are holding to an ideal. I think the banker will do almost anything to protect their happiness. And let crook rob bank? Otto, unless I'm mistaken, Tubbs would do more than that to keep his son's disgrace a secret. day, Steve Smith rapped on the door of the Tubbs' house. Martha Tubbs responded to the summons and... Oh, it's Steve Smith. Good morning, Mr. Smith. What brings you here? I looked for the banker, and he wasn't at his office. Oh, no, he's in his room. He felt sick this morning, so he didn't go to the office. Hello, Steve. How are things at the general store? Oh, first rate, first rate, Abby. How's that boy of yours? He's fine and dandy. He's getting more like his paw every day. Oh, uh, was there any mail for us, Steve? No. I expect we might as well stop asking. It must be a bother having to handle all the mail as well as running your store, Steve. Oh, I don't mind. I sure wish I could bring you ladies the letter you're hoping for, but, well, I can't. Somehow I feel that sooner or later we'll have word of Jimmy. Maybe so, ma'am, maybe so. Never can tell. I wanted to see the banker if I can. Oh, yes? Who's there? It's Steve Smith, the storekeeper. Oh, come in here, Smith. You can go right back. You know where his room is. Thanks, Miss Tubbs. Are you coming? I'm coming, Tubbs. Well, I hear you're down sick. Close that door. Steve Smith, I don't want to kill you. Because I'm afraid you've left things so my wife will learn the truth. But so help me if I ever see you talking to her, Abby, in a friendly way again, I'll forget myself and do murder. Ah, uh, that'd be downright foolish. You hear what I said? Why are you here? I figured you'd want to talk to me, Tubbs. There's some business we left that wasn't finished. Yes, I do. Well, what about it? I've got no choice. You can rob my bank. If heaven help all the poor people who have trusted me. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. 
Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. story. In a room in Banker Tubbs' home, Steve Smith sat with a satisfied grin on his ugly face as he met the eyes of the banker. So you're going to play the game according to my rules, eh? You give me no choice. I'd die sooner than have Martha and Abby and my grandson learn anything that would destroy their love for Jimmy. Well, you're being sensible. I wondered if you thought that masked man could get away with what he tried last night. But he took that envelope. Uh, that wasn't the real thing. That held copies of the letters I've got. Copies. Sure. Oh. I've got the real letters where they won't be found. They'll stay there till I get the cash I'm after. Very well. What are your plans? Oh, they're simple enough. We'll just help ourselves to the cash you've got at your bank. You'll see to it that we don't get interfered with. That's all there is to it. When? The sooner we get the cash, the sooner you'll have those letters. What about the letters the mass man took? I told you, they're just copies. What if he comes to me and demands money for those? Then what can I do? Tubbs, one of the things you'll get when you deal with me is protection against him. Just let him show himself around here. We'll deal with him. Yes. I'm glad you found out who I was. Makes it easier to talk business. Now, uh, I'll let you know just how you're to help us. When is this... this robbery to take place? I'll let you know that, too. And you'd better see to it that there's plenty of cash in the bank for us. Good day, Tubbs. Why did my son have to die when men like that are allowed to live? Maybe, maybe Jimmy did let fear overpower him. He, he loved life. He wasn't a boy that wanted to die heroically. He wanted to live, to live for his wife and his son. Of course he feared death. Oh, he can't be blamed for that. He can't be condemned. Jimmy, Jimmy, I'll do anything to keep you the boy we knew. The boy who loved life. Mr. Tubbs. Hit. Masked. How did you get in here? I came in through the window. That voice. A silver bullet. Last night. Yes, I was at the meeting. Why did you do it? What are you going to do now? I thought I knew who you were. I thought you were the Lone Ranger. Yes, I am. And here's your money I took at the meeting. But, and you are going to do what? What that other man is doing to me. I want to help you. There's nothing you can do. Who's the man who left here? The storekeeper. How did he know about your son? I don't know. Tubbs, you don't want anyone to help you. There is no help. I have no choice. I've got to do what he wants. Let him rob the bank? Please, please, Lone Ranger, leave here. I I appreciate what you want to do, but there isn't anything that can be done. He has the whip hand. I heard most of what was said here. Yes, I assumed as much. Tubbs, I've got to ask one thing. Postpone things as long as you can. What do you mean? Make him think you've got to get cash into the bank. Tell him anything so the robbery won't take place for a few days. A week longer if you can stall him. Why? The storekeeper. He has the post office, too. There's a chance, one chance, that something can be done. It'll take some time. Give me a week. You are the Lone Ranger, aren't you? You saw the silver bullet. I, I don't know what you can possibly do. But I'll give you as much time as I can. Steve Smith had a message which took him from his home. 
While he was gone, the Lone Ranger and Tonto stepped into the house. Now, Tonto, we've got to work fast. He won't be gone long. Uh, it'd take plenty long time to search whole house. Let me look under carpet first. I'll open these drawers. Here, spread these papers around. Uh, let me hunt under bed blanket. Uh, turn the bed around. Uh, yeah, we won't have to search the whole house, Tonto. We'll just make it look as if we'd gone through it. In a few minutes, Steve Smith will be back, and we'll see what he does. <laughs> Steve Smith entered his house and lighted a candle quite late at night. He saw that the house was badly upset. Papers were strewn about the floor. The bed had been pulled apart and rugs turned over. So there's been a search here. Well, someone will pay for this. Someone as sure as shooting is going to... Yeah, I better see if anything important was stolen. Outside the house, the Lone Ranger and Tonto stood at a window and watched. Look, he's going to the fireplace. There's a loose rock there. Uh, that where him got secret hiding place. We'd never have found it, Tonto. No. And making him think that his house has been searched will make him show us his hiding place. We'll have a look there as soon as he goes to bed. Steve looked at some papers in the secret hiding place behind one of the stones in the fireplace. He found his papers all there and undisturbed. He chuckled softly and then went about the task of putting the room in order before he went to bed. Several days later, Steve Smith called his men to a meeting and reported the progress of his plan. In the first place, boys, you might as well keep those hoods you made to cover your faces with. Because we'll use them when we rob the bank. When's that to come off? I'm getting tired of waiting. You take it easy, Lefty. Remember, you almost spoiled our game by letting that lone ranger get you. You heard any more about him? Uh, not since I told you my house had been searched. I figure he was the one that did it. But he didn't find anything, did he? Uh, of course not. I don't leave important papers lying around loose. I wish I could get my hands on that lone ranger. Well, if he shows up, he'll find it real unhealthy. How about the bank? Tubbs has finally fixed the time. It's Saturday night. Saturday, huh? Good. Will he uh, have plenty of cash there? Plenty. Now, the reason I call this meeting is this. I don't figure on letting Tubbs tell the law that we robbed the bank. Yeah, that worried me. When he gets the papers you'll give him, what's to stop him from telling about it? That's right, Steve. He can tell the sheriff who did it, can't he? Not the way I've got things planned. We can't rob the bank if he don't help us, can we? Well, it'd be hard. Yeah, he can help a lot. Well, after we've got what we want, then we just take charge of Mr. Banker Tubbs. Take charge? How do you mean? Well, we move him away from here. Jake, you have a buckboard and a good team ready. All right. Tubbs well, goes for a trip, and he's not coming back. You mean we're going to... When the bank is robbed, folks will find reason to think Tubbs took that cash and scooted out of town for parts unknown. Well, that ends any guesses about who done it before they get started. Hey, now, that's smart. Downright huh? smart. Any questions? No, no that sounds good. Boys, we're all set then. We'll find the door of the bank unlocked when we go there Saturday night. We'll find Mr. Tubbs waiting for us. dark on Saturday, with no moon to shed the faintest light on the group of men that halted in front of the bank shortly after midnight. I got the team and buckboard over yonder near the trees, Steve. Good enough, Jake. All of us uh, here now? Yep. The door's unlocked. I tried it. His tub's inside. He better be. You got that envelope with you, Steve? You'll want to see. I've got it. Come on now. Stay close behind me and keep your guns ready in case someone comes along. office is back here. You on hand, Tubbs? I'm here in the office. It's plenty dark in here. This way, Smith. Did you bring something for me? Yes. I just got here. I'll light the lamp. You, you leave the light out. I'll strike matches to see all I want to see. Is your safe open? Uh, yes. Uh, good thing. It'll save time. But what is the safe to do with it? You were going to bring me an envelope. Where is it? I've got it. All right, clean out the safe. Now, hold on, you can't do that. What is this, a robbery? Huh? What the Sam Hill do you think it is? You can't do this. Steve, you promised to bring me an envelope. Where is it? Let me light the lamp and see it. You shut up, Tubbs. This is our party from now on. Get the guns on them, Jake. Right. Lefty, you get him a rope. Right. Rooped. Right. Save your breath, Tubbs. Stand back. Hey, what? Where's the sheriff? Deputy, get that light going. The first man that makes a move stops left. Please. You had this coming, Steve. Smith. Set a trap for me, eh? Well, you'll never get over regretting this. There's the light. Now, all of you line up against that wall. 
Take their guns first and then those hoods they're wearing. We'll see who's with Steve Smith and this party. Oh, you'll pay, Tubbs. You'll wait for your wife and Abby well, here. Well, if it isn't Jay. Oh, no, 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 wait, Sheriff. Let me explain. I Lefty. Can... See who else there is here, boys. I can explain Your everything. Boss explained plenty, Jake, before he knew we were here waiting for him. Here. Here, Sheriff, take this envelope. You'll see why we're here. We came to sell it to Tubbs. You can't charge us with robbery. There's not one of us that touched a cent of the bank's cash. That's right. You're right so far, Steve, about not touching the bank's money. You can't say we broke in here because we didn't. No. The door was unlocked. That's right, Steve. You know quite a bit of law, don't you? There's not a thing you can do with us. No, you're mistaken about that. You see, you did do a robbery. That's not true. The fact is, you'd have been better off to have robbed the bank than to have robbed the United States mail. What? The mail? We never and robbed... And from the way you all came here, I guess the law can find all of you in cahoots on the mail robbery. That's not true. We never touched Steve, the mail. We... there was one letter that was addressed to Banker Tubbs. Have you forgotten that one? Yeah, letter... Tubbs? The one you kept behind the stone in your fireplace. I guess it's still there, ain't it? Steve, what's he mean? Tell us he's loco. Uh, how'd you know about it? Oh, I was told about it. That letter was from the best friend Jimmy Tubbs had in the Army. You know what it said, Steve. You stole it instead of delivering it. And by Juniper, when a jury hears the scheme you tried to pull, they'll give you the rest of your life in jail. Uh, tell me, boy. I did what the Lone Ranger asked me to do. I came here. I let you and your men come here. Tubbs, the Lone Ranger's in the next room right now. One of my boys let him in the side door. He is. Yep. And you know what he's got with him? What? What is it? Now, you've got to be patient for a minute more so as I can explain things straight. He figured that Steve must have had some way of knowing that you'd never heard from your son. He figured that Steve handled all the mail, so he used a few tricks and found a letter you never saw. It told how your son was badly wounded in the fighting and how he risked his life to save his captain. Yes, yes, go on, Sheriff. Well, he'd been a long time getting over his wounds. He's still not over them. But the captain who had him in his own house figured he was well enough to come here. So he wrote and asked you to send for your but son. Why didn't Jim write himself? Well, Tubbs, he couldn't. Now, you be sure of this. He will get well, but it'll take time and a lot of care. Where is Jim? Let me go after him. Let me bring him to his wife and his mother. They'll nurse him back to hell. That's the way the captain figured. That's how the Lone Ranger figured, Tubbs. Uh, I'll open the door now. Uh, Lone Ranger must have gone. Uh, but you better come in here, Tubbs. Go on. And where is Jimmy? Tell me where he is so I can go. Jim! Uh, he's sleeping now. He's mighty weak after the trip here. My son. Oh, my son has come back. Uh, we'll help you carry him home. Yes. Yes, Sheriff. But who brought Jim back? I want to thank him. Who brought him back? <laughs> Don't you know, Tubbs? Don't you know? just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>